Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a group reward system where if you are in a group and you go up to this ring and collect uh, your reward, it will give you coins and it will start counting down from a certain amount of time that you set. And if you are not in the group, it will not give you the reward. And also, if you're wondering why this video is recorded on an alt, it's because I did not realize that I was on my alt and just ended up recording the video on this account, so, uh, but that doesn't really matter. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the Thunder tier. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to go to Home, Game Settings, and Save to Roblox, and then you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it Group Reward Tutorial, and I'm going to save this, and wait for it to just reopen up. And when it does open up, we need to check API services. So I'm going to wait for this. It's going to take a couple more seconds. And okay, it's loaded. I'm going to go to game settings and now go to security and check enable studio access to API services. This is uh, going to enable us to uh, test the data stores inside of Robo Studio. And we're just going to save that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a part that's supposed to be our group reward part, so the part that's supposed to give us the reward. So I'm going to make a cylinder. I'm going to uh, make it a little bigger. I'm going to make the size maybe uh, 6, 1, 6. Actually, it should be 6, um, six on the Y and six on the z but only one on the uh, x okay so now i can just make this bigger i'm gonna make it about this big okay so this looks good i'm going to make it neon and i'm going to make it uh pink and i'll lower the intensity of the brightness and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a billboard gy to this and i'm going to set the size to 8, 0, 2, 0, and I'm going to add a text label to it, and I'm going to set the size of the text label. The size of the text label itself will be 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so now we can just mess around with the position of the uh, uh, billboard GY by messing around with the extents offset world space. I'm going to make it like uh, 3 on the Y, maybe just 2. Uh, Okay, that doesn't really work. I think we need to mess around with this some more. I think I need to change the X to... Okay, that doesn't work. I'll fix it, and I'll be back. Okay, so for some reason, the X is what changes the height. I'm going to make it something like 20. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the background transparency of this to 1. And the font, I'm going to change it to Ferdoka 1. And the text scale property should be checked. And I'm going to change the text to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, just for testing purposes. I added, I added one more 0. Okay, we're going to make the text color white. And I will add a UI stroke. And now we'll go here, and we're going to set the color of the stroke to black. And the thickness will be something like 3. And now what I'm going to do is to uh, rename this to timer. The text label should be timer. And I'm going to add a script, a server script service. And it's going to be called a group reward server. Okay, so in here we need to get players. Equals game, colon get service players. The local replicated storage. Equals game, colon get service replicated storage. And now we need to do... Uh, Okay, so I think we need to get data store service. So local data store service equals game equals game can get service data store service. Now we need to get a data store, so local data store equals data store service can get data store. And we're gonna just type in a key. So for me I'm going to type in one and I'm going to get the uh, this part right here, which I'm going to rename to grip group reward part. Group, I can't name things properly. Uh, group reward part, and I'm going to check anchored and make sure that can collide is unchecked. Now go back here, and we're gonna do a local group reward part equals workspace dot group reward part. And now we need to do local debounces. This is going to be a table that we're gonna use later. 
and we're going to do players the player added one connect function and that's going to take the player okay so let's say you have leader stats right here local leader stats equals instance dot new in instance dot new um folder uh, leader stats dot name equals leader stats and leader stats dot parent equals player and leader stats uh that's all we need to do uh local coins equals uh, leader stats equals instance dot new uh end value and coins dot value equals uh, zero coins dot name equals coins and now coins dot parent equals leader stats so let's say you have your leader stats right here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a uh, we're gonna create a value local we're gonna call it last group reward time and it's going to be equal to instance dot new and a string value and last group reward time dot name equals and we're just going to call it last group reward time and last group reward time dot value equals uh zero in these uh I forgot what they're called I think they're called quotation marks and what I'm gonna do now is last group reward time dot parent equals player. Okay, so now we're gonna do a local data variable equals nil and in here we're gonna do p call function and we're just going to type in um data equals and data store, not data store service, data store, this variable that we created right here. Only get async. And we're going to type in player dot dot and a uh, group reward so, uh, player dot user ID. Sorry, dot user ID dot dot and dash group reward. Now in here, we're going to check if data is not equal to nil. Then what we're going to do is last group reward time dot value equals and we're going to do data to string data. Okay, so now what I want to do is uh, do a player dot player dot character added con connect function character and then pass dot spawn function and in here we're gonna do whatever we want but we're just gonna wait uh three seconds for now and what we're gonna do in here is players dot player removing con connect function that's going to take the player and in here we're gonna do a pickle function and we're just going to save a last group reward time so uh data store data store call and set async this time not get async player dot user id uh, just copy whatever is in here this key that we have right here and comma and now you're gonna insert the data so i wanna save a uh, two number and we're gonna do uh, player dot uh, last group reward time Dot value. I don't know why I'm using it to a number. That's that's a little stupid. We can just get rid of that and save it as a string. And what we can do in here, what we can do in here is uh, remove this two string data. And I think that should work. Okay. So uh, now in here, I'm gonna do game on bind. To no, we don't need to do that. Uh, it's not. It's not needed right now. I'm going to create a function called reward and it's going to be to take the player and what we're going to do in here is uh, we're going to do a group reward part dot touched colon connect function and it's going to take the hit and if hit dot parent colon find for child humanoid then a local character equals um uh, hit dot parent and uh local player equals players colon get player from character colon get player from character i think i need to zoom in get player from character and we're gonna do character now we're gonna do if player equals equals nil then return uh and we can also do or debounces player then return and now in here what we're going to do is uh d bounces player equals true and we're just going to do task dot delay uh five comma function or maybe just one maybe three function and we're going to do if d bounces player then d bounces player equals nil and now what we're going to do is 
if uh, hmm I think the only thing we need to do is uh, let's just do if a uh, player if tick minus uh, two number player dot and we're just going to copy last group reward time last group reward time dot value is greater or equal to group part and now we're going to go to group part and we'll just set an attribute and we're going to make it a number and we're going to uh, make it uh, we're going to set the name to uh, reward delay time and we're going to make it like 100 seconds this is in seconds by the way so if you want to make it 24 hours uh do that in seconds okay so uh is greater or equal to group reward part uh colon get attribute reward delay time or uh player dot last group reward time dot value equals equals zero then Okay, so it seems like I forgot the most important part of the video, which is checking if the player is in the group. So what we're going to do is we will just go to here. And what we need to do is to check if the player is in the group. So uh, in here, we're going to do and player is in group. And then in here, just type in your game, your group ID. So in here, just type in your group ID and that should work. By the way, if you remove this, it should become a normal, uh, a normal daily reward. Then what we're gonna do is, we will call the reward function. That's going to take the player. This is where you're gonna do your reward. But I think a better way of doing this would be using a coroutine. So coroutine, coroutine, coroutine dot wrap, and just type in reward. And then just send the player. Okay, so now we need to do player dot last group reward time dot value equals tick. Actually, it's going to be equal to two string tick. And now we're going to do a replicated storage dot and just add a remote event to replicated storage. And it's going to be called start countdown start group reward countdown dot start group reward countdown call fire client and that's going to take the player of course and then we're just going to return okay so what i want to do now is to just uh i think instead of doing the debounce in here we will just do it in here okay so the next thing we need to do now is to script our reward function so in here you can do anything. You can you can give the player a pet or give him coins or give him multiple things. It really depends on your game if you know how if you know a little bit of scripting. But what I'm gonna do is only make it uh, give you coins. So I'm gonna do player dot leader stats dot coins dot value equals zero. Um, what am I doing? Plus equal uh, five hundred. Okay, so now it's time to script the client. So we're gonna go and we're gonna add a local script to service script service uh, to start our player scripts, local script. And it's going to be called uh, group reward client. client. Okay, so in here, we need to get replicated storage and players. And then we'll need to get the group reward part. So local group reward part equals Workspace, call it for child, group reward part. Now we need to get the timer, local timer equals group reward part, call it for child billboard GY, call it for child timer. And now we're going to have a function uh, start group reward countdown. And now we need to create two more functions. So I'll leave, a, I'll leave it in the description just to copy the code and uh, paste it in i found it on the diff form and it just converts seconds and it formats them uh, like this hours uh, hours minutes and seconds it just does that okay so just copy this code it's in the description and paste it in and now what we're going to do is we're going to do if player dot last group reward time equals equals zero 
then timer dot text equals equals ready and now we need to get the player local player equals players dot local player and uh, timer dot text equals ready and we're just going to return and uh, in here we're going to do task dot spawn function task dot spawn function function and we're just going to type in while true do while true do and we're just going to break to uh what am i doing put a task dot wait one and what we're going to do is local time past and it's going to be equal to math.round and inside math.round we're going to type in tick and tick minus two number player dot last group reward time dot value now what we need to do is check if time passed is greater or equal than group part colon get attribute uh, reward delay time then what we need to do is to just set the timer all text to be ready else what we need to do is timer dot text equals and convert uh, to HMS and we're just going to type in reward time uh, re uh, time actually uh, group reward can get attribute reward delay time minus and the time that passed okay now what we need to do is to okay so we have that's dot wait one second here and I think when it says ready, all we need to do is to break this. Okay, so now we're going to do remote replicator storage on which a child start uh, group reward countdown dot on client events, on connect function, on connect and just to do start group reward countdown. Okay, so now we're going to go back to a group reward server. And when the player is added, after three seconds, we need to fire the remote event. So start, so replicator storage, on fire no dot start group reward countdown from fire client then we're going to send the player okay now we're going to play the game and see if this works okay so normally this should say ready let's check moment of truth okay so it does say ready and if we touch this it starts counting down from 100 seconds and if we leave so right now it's at one minute and 33 seconds let's just say one minute and 30 seconds i'm going to leave and wait for about uh 40 seconds okay so i waited for a bit it was probably more like 20 seconds but i i thought that the play time will take a little longer okay so now it should say something like 50 seconds okay yeah it does it does work when i wait for this to count down and we'll collect it again and see if it works. As you can see, our coins don't save, but that's uh, not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you how to how to uh, make a group reward system. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for this to count down. Actually, I'm gonna leave and rejoin later to see if this works. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, let's see, and we have about four seconds left. I'm going to see if this is ready. Okay, so it does work. Yeah, I, th I think everything should be working fine. Okay, so this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!